Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We've made it to another shrine just off the edge of the Great Plateau. So, let's just head in and have a look at it. Now, I have to say now, there's a, a lot of things that I've been supposed to have done already, but I've... I'm very good at getting off track, so I'm probably going to be having a look at that afterwards, or in this video. So, let's just try to knock that in there. Oh, did I go too far? I went too far, but it's going in anyway, cool. Just had to stasis that all. I, I, I feel like I have to explain everything sometimes, but I really don't. I'm, I'm trying to think through a little bit more about what I should be doing. I've been thinking this past week a lot about trying to do it better than I have been. The other thing we can do here is actually stasis the orb, but we don't really need to. And actually with that guardian being there it makes it a lot easier for us to just knock that orb right in. Very kind of them. It loops whatever's on the conveyor belt, so Anyway, let me just, um, oh, that's out of am ammo. I guess I can use arrows. Also, I'm surprised there was a second guardian, but it's kind of hiding now, so I don't know what's with that. Is it going to come out? Maybe? That's very strange. Anyway, I might just leave it since it's not really doing anything. Let me make sure I'm getting everything in here. Oh, this looks like fun. Let's see if we can get through here while carrying this orb through it. Easier said than done, definitely. But very possible. So, let's just hold on a second. And since the stuff on that side is going to loop around, those blocks there are going to loop around. Allowing us to use them as a laser shield. Oh, as long as I keep up with them. But there's a slight problem as we go forward because this laser here is going to get in the way. So let's freeze that and then try to catch up with the rest of the blocks. Oh no, I'm going to have to wait for them to come back because otherwise I'm in trouble. We just need to stay in the middle of these two lasers and then wait for these blocks. Oh my goodness, the chest on top of the thing. Sometimes when it loops around it just puts objects on top of other ob objects, which is a little bit funny sometimes. But anyway, we've made it through that. So, let's drop that in there. If you lose your orb and it falls off the edge, you'll just start back where it was because of the little funnel in the wall. Dropping it back down over there. But now let's try and get that that chest that's on the other conveyor belt. Which shouldn't be too hard to get since it's magnetic or it's metal. Both. It's magnetic because it's metal. So let's just grab that and then realize that it's going faster than I can walk with my stasis, mag magnesis out. Anyway, let's open this. And we get an opal. Thankfully not an item. And we have all the chests in the shrine, so now we can just finish up. Just like that. Hello, sir. I'm just going to take your soul now. Because that's kind of what we're doing here. Well, I'm not really taking their soul, they're kind of giving it to me, but I think that's probably because they've been sitting there for 10,000 years. And probably don't want to stay there any longer. So anyway, starting off, I want to do the the biggest thing, which I should have done on my first visit. I've just, so many things I've had backed up slowly. So, when we came to the lab for the first time, we met Pura, and we thought that she was just there, basically. And then we found out she was the director of the tech lab. And we had some ladies in the town gossiping about a, ch a child being here. Which just happens to be Pura. There's a room here which I believe is, um... What is his name? I can't remember. 
the guy, the, the, the guy who's, uh, who, uh, the other guy who's here. Also, up here is a guardian just on top of this thing, which is cool. Some guardian parts just hanging around. And if we go in here, this is Pora's room. Got some nice research stuff up here, which looks interesting. And there's also a little journal here that we can read. Pora's diary. Research diary for anti-aging rune. Classified. For Pora's eyes only. Date unknown. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hy Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our, def our offense will be solid, and our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Date unknown. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject for the of, of this experiment, Simon, should have remembered that, booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went away. Anti-aging experimental trial day two. My extreme, my extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again and full floor length. My wrinkles once deep and as once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so fri frighteningly fast. This morning, I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical physical exa exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood, we tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. Our discoveries were start startling. My results were typical of a Shika woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. I can only hope I do, do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Anti-aging experimental trial day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's examination, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. 30 years old, I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was try to figure out how to exp expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around 80 years old when that ex expansion was completed. I te intend to bequeath this this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the calamity that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Anti-aging experimental trial day four. After today's routine, physical uh, the results show that I have been, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her twenties. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power had been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstop. Doorste oh, doorstep. Link, so young, yet so courageous. 
He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. Um. I hope I didn't miss anything because of my capture card freezing for a second. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and our Shika researchers have had a strong bond. Their, plan, their pain is now is our own. We took the swordsman and the Shika slate Princess Zelda left behind the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Let me just quickly previous page to see if I did actually get all that. Next page. Is this what we're up to? Anti-aging experimental trial day four? No, yeah, we got this one. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. There we go, that's what I missed. Anti-aging experimental trial day 5. I woke to something horrifying, a scarlet lamp lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After, an al an after analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to th uh, the conclusion that it is just a pimple, a big one. The results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood tests for me. I mean, really? What even? I can do it all by myself, in any case. I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the furnace outside is glowing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. Anti-aging experimental trial day 6. My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a 6 year old. My height and regressed has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is that genius swordsman we placed in that the slumber of restoration or anyway? Wake up already. If he doesn't w awaken soon, my fu my future expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can we he oh. How can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with my 6-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my a age process. Or my, my, my aging process. Anti-aging experimental trial day 7. This morning's exam results indicated that I am still age 6. Same as yesterday, perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was too clumsy and it was raining. And nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I, not, am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of, a, of gas lamps. What to do? Date unknown. I can't believe it, I hear a Linky has awoken from his 100 year slumber. As expected, he, lost, he has lost his memory. The slumber of restoration, I really should have done a test on that thing first. Well, live and learn. 
in any case, he got the ancient furnace working, so now I can start my research once again, finally. Only a truly gifted and heroic swordsman like him could have achieved all that. Speaking of, this seems like a good opportunity to get him to do some other chores for me too, heh. And that's the end of the book. Probably for now. Maybe. I don't know. There's also some drawings on the wall of guardians, which is cool. And also some other things. But anyway, I think that's everything in here that I need to look at, so... Let's keep going. Oh, there's even a chic tower drawing. So cool. And I think if I go down, there's a, another thing down here that I wanted to look at over here. It's like a little giant telescope thing. Which seems a bit unnecessary for Shika technology since we can do, do this. Just look around like that. But anyway, that is that. I, sh I really should have done that on my first visit, but I don't think the text of Linky's Awake now would have been there, so... I'm glad that I kind of did it later, but I, it could have been earlier. Anyway, let's head down to the village, and I think I'm going to have a look at see if there's any side quests for me to do here. Although they are unnecessary. Although... There's... yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things I still haven't done that I need to do. I'm not sure how much of this is actually necessary. So I think, instead of doing that, we'll have a look at that in a future point in time. So for now, let's go over here to explain things that I should have explained earlier. Okay, back at the golf shrine. I'm just going to have to, rem I'm going to remember that that, that that one particularly is the golf shrine now. Is there no rush from here now? Did it not respawn? That's a shame. But anyway, let's go over to the stable. Because I want to have a look around it a little bit more than I did the first time. Because I believe there's actually important information here that I skipped over. Also, this looks different. A double axe. This double-sided axe was designed with fi fighting in mind. It's a bit unwieldy, so it requires a well-precise practice technique to use efficiently. Pretty good, but we don't really need it at the moment. What is this doing here? Soldier's broadsword. I'm pretty sure we've already picked one of these up before. Yeah. So... Let's keep looking around here. It looks like everyone's gone inside because of the rain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He was just lying down. I'm guessing that he's gonna take you to the sword if you haven't seen it already. Although he could take you to something else, I don't know. Anyway, while we're in here, there's only a few people around. Let's talk to them. Some weather we're having. Heh, <laughs> if you're making time to talk to an old man like me, you must be in need of something. You aren't from around here, are you? Ha ha ha. When you get to my age, you can tell just by looking at people's faces. This here is Woodland Stable. <laughs> this here, Woodland Stable, borders the Elden region and Hyrule Field. It's a central fixture for travelers. Also, the Great Hyrule Forest, which is where the stable got its name, is right over yonder. Do you want me to tell you about the surrounding areas? Elden? Elden is northeast of here. It's um, a, mon uh, a mountainous region with Death Mountain at its center. You can see Death Mountain from here, in fact, but only the backside of it. I don't know why anyone would want uh, to climb it, but if you're so inclined, the best approach is from Akala to the east. If you see Foothill Stable, you're on the right path. The moor of the state of Death Mountain is near the stable. 
but Death Mountain is an active volcano. It's blazing hot up there. If you go up, if you go unprepared, you're as good as dead. Although I'm sure there's someone at Foothill Stable who knows how to deal with the heat. Good to know. Also, there's a meal over here. I don't think I took a picture of this. So I'm gonna do that, I suppose. What do you have to say? I just don't know what to do. What's wrong? Listen, if you wanna get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and cash it. And the only way to do that this day and age is to go to, uh, stay with me here, Hyrule Castle. I know it sounds crazy, but rumor has it that it's full of abandoned treasure and weapons. They're just sitting in there, free full of the taking. Well, if you can get past all of the bloodthirsty monsters, of course. Um, probably take it easy. Take it easy? And let rumor like that, like this, go to waste? Nah, I gotta go big. There's a docks on the north side of Hyrule Castle, see, and I hear you can get inside from there. There's also an ancient shrine somewhere around there. Smells like treasure to me. Stinks uh, like it even. Of course, no one I know who's gone to Hyrule Castle has come back. Probably because they're too busy being rich. I just need to come up with a solid plan. Then I'll be having... I'll be living the good life. So, that sounds like there's actually a shrine in there, so I'm just gonna put a pin over that. Which is a bit strange, but we'll need to check it out. Now, I don't think I was finished actually talking to you about the surrounding areas. Tell me about Hyrule Field. Hyrule Field is south of here. It's the huge field past the, uh, Cranel Hills. There's no shortage of nature in these parts, it's a beautiful place to live. And just north of the field you'll find the ruins of Haru Castle Town and Haru Castle. They used to be the centre of Hyrule's culture and commerce, but now... I'm telling you, stay far away from the castle. The field isn't safe either. I'm sure you have a family that cares about you, so please don't dismiss this warning as an old man's rambling. I've seen too many young young'uns head off to Harrowfield, only to never come back. Yeah. Tell me about Harrow Forest. Oh. The Great Harrow Forest is north of here. It's the largest forest in Hyrule. In the heart of the forest sits a terrifying uh, group of enchanted trees called the Lost Woods. I once got lost there while collecting firewood when I was but a boy. As I went deeper into the forest, the wind was blowing this way and that, chilled me to the bone. I got scared and ran as fast as I could, trying to get away from the, the howling wind. Then all of a sudden the fog lifted and I was standing outside the forest. There's something dangerous hiding in those w lost woods. Don't go wandering in there. This is how you're supposed to know that you have to follow the wind to actually get through the forest. I just didn't talk to this person earlier, so... I wanted to do, the, do that now so I'd actually have reason for actually doing all that. Anyway, now that's done, I actually want to head over to the Great Fairy and see what I can upgrade. Okay. Let's head up here. Oh, there's a blue pea. That was the other thing I was going to do at the stable, was actually buy more arrows. Just regular arrows. It's just... Rad's really running around a lot. Okay, there we go. I was expecting it to uh, disappear a lot sooner than that. There's another one. It's probably not worth spending any enchanted type of arrow, because it's just going to be a waste. Now, let's try and get some of these fairies, because they were very useful, and will be useful. Again, very highly recommended, even if you don't cook them into anything, which is something I've never done. So, gonna just grab that. Okay. There's so many things I've had backed up that I haven't done yet, that I probably should have a look at doing. 
Anyway, let me try and get this last fairy. No! There it goes. Anyway, great fairy time. Welcome back, boy. Do you want me to enhance your clothes? I can enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away! Well... There's a lot of things we can upgrade, but I think I'm gonna do the hero, the champion's tunic. Because that's basically our main, like, tunic item since that's ah. really useful, so let's do that. Mm. Alright, alright, let me do my thing. <sighs> well, I'm probably gonna be skipping through this so I can get through it faster. Anyway, we go from 5 defense to 8 defense. Ah. Just a little stronger now. Heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes you have enhanced uh, twice could have a bonus, but only if you wear the whole set. Well, and that and not all sets have a bonus. Why are you telling me about this now? Because I I I can't even get a set bonus unless I upgrade it twice, which we can't actually do yet. So, but that is something to keep in mind, and we'll actually explain that later as well. So, anyway, that's expanded. Just gonna do as much as I can. I don't think I have enough parts mm. for everything, but every set requires a different materials pool as well, so. Let's keep it enhancing. Uh, the soldier's gear is probably the best stuff to upgrade at this point because it's gonna give you lots of defense, but anyway. There are other things that kind of have higher defense anyway. But it's still good to have extra defense mm -hmm. overall. Ah. This requires a lot of mm -hmm. Hoblin Guts to upgrade. Ah. So let's keep doing this. Mm. Ah. Let's last my Bokoblin Guts. Mm -hmm. I just want to keep enhancing my clothes. Let me see if there's anything that I can... Doesn't look like there is. Doesn't show me the materials that I need, so I definitely can't do any of that. Except that... Never mind, I'm fine. Just keep increasing things. Please, Great Fairy, just allow me to enhance everything all at once. Mm -hmm. This requires the Zarfos horns, which are fairly easy to get since I have 20 something of them. But that's because I have been cooking them into anything and not selling any of them mm -hmm. as well, so. That's the other problem with um, enhancing things sometimes because you've just mm -hmm. sold everything. This is why I like to collect as many items as I can and not actually just give it away. And sometimes side quests also need materials, so. But anyway, this is the last thing we can upgrade. So let's do that. And then we'll be kind of up to date. But there's still a few other things I'd like to do. Which might also involve the Great Fairy. But we've run out of clothes and materials to upgrade. So we just get kicked out. We don't even have the option to stay in the menu, so. But if we examine the Great Fairy Fountain again. And summon her, I guess. We can have a look at what materials we need, at the very least. Just take a look. So, if you haven't got the materials you need, you can just do that. But we can't do any of that at the moment, so let's just leave. Let's actually go back to Kakariko for a little bit. I just need to go to the shop there. Because if you remember, there's armor there that I could have got ages ago. But I didn't really want to sell a ton for it. But I think now that we've fought a few more stone taluses, I might be a little bit more prepared to part with my materials and buy it, basically. So let's just go all the way in and take a look at that. How much rupees do I need? 600, 700, 500. So I need 1800. Is that right? I think so, so I need another 8,000, 800 rupees. Oh my goodness, 8,000 rupees, that would be a day to panic on. 
But anyway, we've got a lot of diamond, actually. Which could get us to what we need quickly. So I might sell two of those, but I want to keep some of that for later at the very least. So there we go. Goodbye. Now, stealth tights. That'll be 600 rupees. Okay! Members of the Shika tribe wear these tights when they need to move stealthily. They're made from noise supp suppressing cloth. A hallmark of ancient Sheikah technology. <laughs> Thanks for your great purchase, really. Ah. Stealth chest guard. Armor designed for stealth. Passed down through the Sheikah tribe. The special fabrics suppress the uh, rustling of clothes, even when moving quickly. <laughs> stealth mask. It may look like a regular cloth mask, but it was made using Sheikah crafting techniques to suppress the noisy rustling of clothes. Perfect for sneaking about. Ah. Well, there we go. And now that we've done that, we have a new outfit that we can wear, which looks pretty cool, actually. It's probably one of the fan favorites that there are in the game, so... And you can see why. It also makes it a lot easier for sneaking around because we make a lot less sound with it. But anyway, now that that's done, we're going to go see the Great Fairy again. But I think that's also it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.